It's 2009. The average UK citizen is caught on CCTV around 300 times a day. And those fortunate enough to live in London have their journey and travel information stored for an unspecified amount of time. The current government has proposed a bill for a government database to include the calls we've made, the websites we've visited and the emails we've sent, entitled the Communications Data Bill. And the European Union requires its member states to store all telecommunications data for 6 to 24 months. To many, this signifies a dark future for Britain. But to others, it simply signifies we live under a government which devotes time and effort to protect us, prevent crime and make Britain a safer place. We visited a Libertarian Alliance conference to get the views of the Libertarians on the current state of surveillance in Britain. Dr Tim Evans is the president of the Libertarian Alliance and an opponent of state policing. When we look at the issue of CCTV, uh, I think it would be simplistic to say that I am opposed to it. Uh, I'm opposed to it in the current form. I don't like the idea of public bodies, the public sector, the state police force, the government, potentially being able to monitor my every move. Dr Sean Gabb is an author, conservative and director of the Libertarian Alliance. We live in a country, perhaps we live in a world, where governments are becoming more intrusive and more oppressive. And we have this tool, CCTV surveillance, which does have certain uses when it comes to fighting real crime that everybody would accept is crime. But it also enables many things which quite frankly scare the life out of me. Brian Micklethwaite is an internet blogger and member of the Libertarian Alliance. The government tends to chase after a lot of people that it shouldn't be chasing after. Then, then the government now finds it a lot easier because of surveillance to, to chase after you and I think it's going to get even more easy. I think face recognition software and all that kind of high-tech stuff is just going to get better and better. Trust for our government may be at an all-time low but there are definitely areas of society that benefit from CCTV. Crimes are solved. The Telegraph reports that 7 out of 10 murders are solved thanks to the presence of CCTV cameras. Are we just overreacting? There are many occasions when CCTV does help to combat crime and I suppose the balance is whether it's necessary um, and therefore whether the people that aren't doing anything wrong just have to put up with it so that we can catch more criminals. Um, the other thing is that CCTV is usually only kept by security companies for 28 days and usually by the time we're involved that 28 days would have elapsed already. Um, I think there, there is quite a lot of CCTV around, a lot of um, surveillance, but I think there could perhaps be more in some areas. And as a female on my own as well, when I'm walking around the streets at night, I do find it quite reassuring when there are cameras around. It does give me a sense of security. And I think it could certainly help with combating crime if we had more surveillance. I think you've got to include it, all the crimes that surveillance cameras might have prevented. So that, I mean, this after all is why you have criminal trials, which are very laborious and expensive procedures. But that, and their justification is not just that a particular crime is solved, but that society in general is filled with the, the, the fact that you just can't do these things, and most of us are dissuaded from doing them. Um, so. Actually, I think CCTV cameras may, may be doing rather more good than a lot of um, my libertarian friends often like to say. Surveillance technology is constantly being developed and cameras will always get better. Is this a good thing? What does it mean for Britain? Imagine you're going into a mosque or a church and there are the police outside with their surveillance cameras and they can recognize who you are because of identity cards and face recognition software. Will you go into that church or mosque? Will you feel quite so comfortable about it? The technology available now is almost boundless and if that technology was to be interactively linked up to ID cards uh, and all kinds of databases, I think it could become very, very intrusive and potentially despotic and totalitarian. When we talk about government monitoring us, well, who's monitoring the government? Unfortunately, it's usually the government.